Hello everyone, welcome to People's Dispatch. I'm Anushka and welcome to another episode of the International Daily Roundup. Our first story, Trump takes a U-turn on talks with the Taliban. The US President Donald Trump announced cancellations of a secret meeting with the representatives of Taliban at Camp David on Sunday, September 8th. In a series of tweets, he claimed he had invited Afghan government representatives and representatives from the Taliban for a secret talk to end the 18-year-long war in Afghanistan. He cancelled the talks after Taliban admitted to an attack in Kabul that killed an American soldier. The bomb attack in Kabul on Thursday, September 5th, killed 12 people, including one US soldier. Taliban has taken the responsibility for the said attack. According to Trump, Taliban admitted to the attack in order to build false leverage. The US also announced suspension of the peace talks with the Taliban going on for a year in Doha. It was only last Monday that Zalmay Khalilzad, the US special representative, had announced the finalization of an agreement subject to the approval of Donald Trump. According to the agreement, the US was to withdraw 5,400 of its 14,000 troops in the country in return of Taliban guaranteeing to stop Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State from using Afghanistan's territories to launch attacks against the US and its allies. Taliban had warned that withdrawal from the talks would only lead to more losses for the US. It also vowed to continue its struggle for the last 18 years until the foreign occupation is finished and Afghans were given a life by their own choice. The next story, Hezbollah claimed it had shot down an Israeli drone early Monday. The drone was confronted by the Hezbollah when it was heading towards the southern Lebanese town of Ramia. The Israeli military issued a statement in which it admitted that one of its drones had fallen inside Lebanon. It claimed it was on a routine operation. Israel often uses Lebanese airspace for its operations inside Syria. Last month, Lebanese forces claimed to have targeted one Israeli drone, whereas another of its drones had exploded on an, in an office belonging to Hezbollah in Beirut. In another attack on the same day, Israel had killed two of the soldiers belonging to Hezbollah inside Syria. In a retaliatory attack last week, Hezbollah had fired several anti-tank missiles inside Israel, destroying one of its tanks. The confrontations had created a war-like situation. Israel alleges Hezbollah for developing precision missiles against it. Hezbollah, also part of the Lebanese government, emerged as a force during the resistance movement against the Israeli occupation of southern Lebanon in 1980s, denies any such activity. Israel had taken out a month-long offensive against Hezbollah in 2006, in which thousands were killed. Our last story is from Peru. The Peruvian National Police have yet again attacked the farmers of the Tambo Valley who were protesting the construction of Tia Maria copper mining project. On September 7th, two protesters were severely wounded by gunshots during a demonstration. The incident took place when the police forcefully tried to clear a road blockade in the Isle province. 23-year-old Hugo Roque was immediately admitted to a state hospital in the Molendo town. The other injured person, who did not want to be identified, was hit in the leg and was admitted to a nearby hospital. El Buha, a regional media outlet, reported that the police are regularly using firearms against the protesters, although the mainstream media is concealing this fact. It also reported that a number of protesters who are suffering from injuries are not going to state-run hospitals for fear of being identified and detained by the police. Since July 15th, thousands of farmers and inhabitants of the Tambo Valley have been protesting the decision of President Martin Vizcarra to authorize Mexican mining company Southern Copper Corporation to begin the construction of the Tia Maria copper mining project. Since August 5th, since August 5th, the agricultural, educational and civil construction workers of the Arequipa region have been striking in solidarity with the inhabitants of Tambo Valley. The protesters are raising concerns about the negative consequences that the mining activities will have on the environment and agriculture activities in the region. That's all we have time for in this episode of International Daily Roundup. For more detailed versions of these news pieces, you can always go to our website, peoplesdispatch.org, or visit our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.